a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, the court will appoint a Chapter 7 trustee to administer the assets. In a Chapter 13 bankruptcy, the court will appoint a Chapter 13 trustee to administer the Chapter 13 plan. But generally, in a Chapter 11, there is no Chapter trustee. Instead, the debtor serves as a quasi-trustee called the debtor in possession. And that debtor in possession has most of the rights and duties uh, and obligations uh, of a, say, a Chapter 7 trustee and a Chapter 7 or a Chapter 13 trustee and a Chapter 13. And so the debtor and the debtor in possession are one in the same. The reason that we focus on this term debtor in possession is because that uh, person, that entity, that uh, thing, uh, has control over the bankruptcy estate and is supposed to manage it, at least in part for the benefit of the creditors. So perhaps I should make the observation that when someone, whether it's a business or an individual or a married couple, files for Chapter 11 protection, the act of filing the papers creates a bankruptcy estate. And what goes into that estate is anything the debtor owns or has an interest in on that day, plus assets that the debtor requires after the day that the bankruptcy papers are filed. And so the debtor in possession is supposed to manage that estate in such a fashion that it maximizes the benefits to the creditors. So uh, in that sense, the debtor in possession is a trustee. Now the debtor in possession has to file the monthly operating reports I mentioned earlier in our discussion has to pay those quarterly fees, and has to run the financial affairs of the debtor in such a fashion that the estate is preserved for the benefit of the 